All right, guys, welcome back. This is Stunlock. We are playing Carto. Okay, so back in the desert. And uh, last thing we did was we placed down this light thing. Uh, we gave her the, the relic that she needed, and then she did something. She posted something at the top of this structure, and light started coming through it. And I'm not sure what's meant to happen next. The sisters received a beetle from Captain Samala and went off to find her. I'm so relieved that she's safe. I'm just an intern, so I stayed behind to take care of the camels. <laughs> They're a little smelly, but I love them all the same. That's nice of you. I think it's hilarious that they have interns. Wonder if she gets paid. Anyway, uh... I thought that by giving her the relic... And she would tell me what to do next, but she's not saying anything. A, a noble, slightly mad camel. That's interesting. When I walked up to this plant, she like... I got a prompt. Uh, wait a minute. We do something underneath here. Oh, what the heck? What is that? It looks like a it's in the shape of a castle or a building. All right, I hold on. I need to see it. Why would it do this? What does it want? <laughs> I have no idea. Um, hmm. Wait a minute. What? What if the? Do these things fit? Actually, yeah, they kind of do. Yeah, these are. Wait, I have a fit. Maybe this is it. Hold on. Let's try this seems like there's the right amount of them <laughs> and it's in the right shape yeah this, this must do something all right so it's one step further let's go see what we did oh, we're getting lost in the desert again So I don't think we can put this here because, yeah, see. We must. So the whole point of this was to get to the water, to get to this. So I think we just have to fill it, figure out how to build the map towards that. Which I did this earlier thinking it might create a square. Who knows? Maybe that's what it is. Oh. Wait a minute. What's that? Okay, let's keep it. Let's keep going. What happens if you do this? All right, let's just put all the pieces down. Nice. You are not. This is not a game that holds your hand, which I kind of like. All right, so we found the haven. But yeah, camels are chilling. Hmm. I guess our drinking water is also camel bath. That's gross. I'm just not gonna think too hard about that. <laughs> Yay, water. That's, yeah. Really not trying to drink camel filth. Gotta be someone around here to talk to. Here we go. 
Water at last. I'm grateful to you, kiddo. You helped track down my grand dog. Grand dog, I mean captain, and then helped her find the haven. You're an honorary water seeker as far as I'm concerned. What the heck was that? Are we done with this level? Did you feel that earthquake? It can only have come from the volcano. There must be a major eruption brewing to feel it all the way out here. There's no rest for the wicked, I tell you. Out of the frying sand and into the lava. Wow, I always knew that Haven was out here, but it still feels surreal to be here. We couldn't have done it without you. And soon, and as soon as we track down some more beetles, I'll send a message out to the rest of the tribe to join us. Alright, so, uh, kind of want to see what's up here, if this has changed any... Wait, what was that? A mysterious object. Who knows what it might do? Secret piece. Wait, this game has secret pieces? It's amazing. We're going to need a bigger camp and a boat. Well, well, well. Oh, wow. We don't even need a well anymore. Maybe we'll turn it into a wishing well and finally have a use for those coins. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, head down that path, that little staircase to nowhere. The elders whispered of secret tunnels beneath the haven, though mind you, though mind you might not find your way back once you enter. What? Alright, let's go. Some stairs leading down into the darkness. Check it out. Yep. This is, uh, what's it called again? The Story Cathedral? No, it's what? Story... <laughs> no, it's not Cathedral. It's definitely not Cathedral. I forgot what it's called, but it's the place that has the books and the story tender. Shannon's boat. She must be nearby. Okay, so she's nearby. Um... How about we do this? So I have no idea what nearby means. Oh, there she is. Ah. So what have you been up to? so worried when you didn't show up at our meeting spot, but it sounds like you've been busy. The story tender told me you dropped by here on your way to the desert. Did you find any clues about your granny there? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sure it's just a matter of time, but I bet she's looking just as hard for you. Ah, you felt the ground shaking too. I thought it was just my lunch <laughs> disagreeing with me until some books fell off the shelf. The volcano must be acting up again. The eruptions are quite a sight to behold. The sky darkens with thick black smoke and orange embers drift through it like snowflakes. Hmm, that smoke might make the sky harder for Granny to navigate, Carto. Gra granny to navigate. Yeah, I said that right. <laughs> I wonder if you can warn her somehow. I bet it's worth a try. Great, I bet we can find some clues in the volcano. Volcano wing. W wait, there must be a new place to go to in here. Such impatience. I'm sad to say the volcano wing has been missing for some time. Chalet can be a bit unpredictable. Chalet, that's the word. Sometimes the rooms are where you would expect, and sometimes they go missing. If only I could visit the top floor again someday. Ah, uh, please ignore me. Just the wistful yearnings of an old man. Anyways, I can't be of much help in locating the volcano wing. But I can usually find what I'm looking for if I read enough books. No better place to start. 
the little cartographer had to come up dry looking had come up dry looking for her granny in the desert but she had other burning issues to deal with how could she warn her granny about the volcano that was about to erupt and therefore and before that she had to figure out how to get there all right uh so we're looking for a new room a volcano room Is that symbol in the middle? That's a number. They all look the same. Hmm. No. Okay, so the typewriter room seems to be the room that, this is where you find the clues. This is the center of it. No. Above and below. Oh, what is this? Okay. This is a new room. Root routes. Mother's roots stretched across the forest as she grew far and beyond, and they grew along hidden paths, snaking their way through distant lands across the world. These paths were subtle and obscured to all but those intrepid explorers. Only the trees knew how to ac access them, and they didn't speak much. Bearing an earthworm companion and a great big bushy beard, Lempa the Messenger was chosen as the 255th Watcher. Lempa and his earthworm patrolled the wildwood for decades, steadfast friends and protectors of Mother. Sadly, an errant sparrow snatched the earthworm from his shoulder, leaving him alone with the, tree, with the trees for the remainder of his watch. Though, to this day, the countless progeny of Lempa's earthworm friend crawled beneath our feet, hungry for dirt and ready for help. Many years before Cherb became the 256th Watcher, Cherb was a small, beardless Cherb. Cherb did not make friends easily, and would spend many afternoons exploring the woods by Cherb's self. I have the feeling Cherb wrote this. One fateful afternoon, Cherb followed a sad, hooting noise and found an owlet stuck in an animal trap. Cherb freed the owlet and dis disassembled the trap, turning it into a stretcher to carry the owl owlet until it healed. Cherb and Cherb's owl companion were never apart after that day now tend to mothers together. All right. All right, so this is the floor that had, all right, gotcha. So this is the floor that has no, no name on it. Let's read these books. Oh, here she goes. I think I found something. Well, let's read this first. Volcanologists are divided on the accuracy and scientific basis of the volcano calendar. Proponents of the calendar claim that it's been an invaluable planning resource for countless generations, while detractors dismiss it as a bunch of meaningless nonsense carved on a wall by some vagabond. In any case, residents of the volcano always seem to avoid disaster somehow, whether or not they're expecting it. Alright, so we're in the right place. I had just about given up on finding the volcano wing, and it appeared out of nowhere. This is such a strange building. Anyways, I think I found something helpful in this book. Have a look. The volcano is a popular tourist destination due to its temperate weather and world-famous spas. Travelers can take a long way up, ascending its face over a course of several days, or hope to catch a ride on a friendly member of its thriving mountain goat population. Though the fastest, most reliable paths up the volcano lie deep within the forest for those who can find them. It sounds like you can get to the volcano through the forest. If there's a path, I know you'll find it. No one is better at finding their way through the world. So we have to go to the volcano. Oh, you'd like me to go with you? Yeah. Hmm, I worry that I'd just slow you down. I hate... I hate to split up again, but... 
find your way ar around so quickly, and time may be of the essence. So hurry along without me. And in the meantime, I'll do some research for us here. Oh, of course. You read books, and I'll go uh, get lost. We need to get to... Is this it? I think this will take us back. Nope. There we go. This thing always updates what's happening. The little cartographer knew where to go next. She'd find her way to the volcano through a path hidden somewhere in the forest. So she bid her friend goodbye once more and headed back towards the wildwood. Nothing was going to keep her from Granny. We talk to this guy one more time. Did you find a volcano wing? It's got the hottest item in the chalet. That's pretty funny. Pretty funny. So I think this is how we get back. Alright, so we are back. Oh, this, isn't this a uh, Cholmec? Ah, a small one. A boon to see you, the finest navigator of these woods I've known. We're, you, we're in need of your skills. We can't seem to find Cherub. I mean, the new Watcher. I'm not sure I'll ever get used to saying that. Niep and his vulture are getting a bird's eye view from one of the bigger trees. Maybe they've seen something interesting. So we're trying to find Cherub. Cherub. I have no clue. Wait. There's the bird right there. So Niep is there. Let's move this square here. Can we? Yes. <laughs> Turb absent, but vulture C. Northeast mother with haste. Uh okay. Northeast mother with haste. Northeast of mother, is that what he means? Northeastern part of the map. Oh we did this. I remember this. Northeastern part of the map. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, what is this? Wrong button. Here we go. I don't know. Put it here. Let's see what's on it. Cherub. Booty Tootie. Cherub, very glad to see you again. Though Cherub's been hiding, needing a, needed a break from watching Mother grow. She is very slow and very quiet. Tell Cherub of your travels. Have you visited other forests? Perhaps met someone who likes watching trees? Someone who needs a job? Hmm, the volcano? Cherub visited once when he was a sprout. Not sure how to get there, though. Hmm, perhaps Cherub can ask the Wildwood. Old Watcher has been teaching Cherub a bit of tree tongue. Russell, 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 Russell? <laughs> The Wildwood says something about a bee and a witch. How exciting. Ah, hmm, Cherub is still learning. Apparently they say a tree has an itch. Not sure what it means, but maybe you can scratch it? Cherub will draw you a reminder. <laughs> what? Oh, thanks to the reminder. Cherub supposes it's time to rejoin Mother now. Everyone can stop looking for Cherub. I'll see you there. Yes. Terrible puns continue. Alright, so we have to find the tree. Oh wait, there's a little animation here. What's going on here?
Small hole behind the tree, blocked by thick branches. They look like they're scratching. The branches blocking the hole are too heavy to move yourself. Too heavy to move yourself. So someone else has to help me move them. Uh, I have no idea. Try this piece. I thought maybe we'd see somebody here. I'm glad they don't let you go in places like that because you'd be really lost if they did. Let's try this piece. Hey yo. Ah, that drawing tells me that you must have found Cherub. I'd help you look for your tree, but I'm still gathering water. Dude, it's a good thing I'm so strong, though my bear friend is even stronger. But don't tell him I told you that. He'll never let me live it down. If you need any strong fellas, Bear and I are your guys. I'm a bit busy with the water, but he's having lunch with the old watcher near the campfire. Alright, that's a clue. There's a campfire. Uh, but we can't put that there. There has to be something that connects them both. This. This has both types of wood. Uh, but now you're a problem. I'm gonna put you over here just in case. Right, let's find the bear. Wait, wait, what's this? Is that the bird that, uh, in the story that took Lempa's, uh, little worm buddy? Alright, there's a watcher. My dear girl, welcome back. The forest hasn't been the same without you. I know my tenure has ended, but I can't bear to leave just yet. Yeah, exactly. I'm not talking about you, Furball. Anyways, Cherub still needs some teaching, and I'm enjoying the company of these animals. The volcano? That's a dangerous place, kiddo. But if you really want to go there, I really I think there's a tunnel underground. Mother's roots spread far, connecting places in unexpected ways. Is that what the new watcher has you running around for? Can't say it makes a lick of sense to me, but what do I know? I'm just the old watcher now. I can't keep up with you kids. Alright, you're gonna help me. Nice. All right. Okay, okay. So we are in a tunnel again. Oh, geez. All right, let's, uh, we're going to stop here. <laughs> when we come back, we will take on this tunnel again and see if we can figure out how to get out of here. Anyway, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do, and I'll catch you guys next time. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, consider hitting the like button, subscribing, or even leaving a comment. This pleases the algorithm and it helps the channel grow. Again, as always, thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you guys next time.